Sometimes you may want to print out your form so that people can fill it uh, on a paper as well. So if you have designed a form by using Microsoft Forms, then you can easily print it out by clicking on the three dot button right here and by choosing print form. So once you do that, what happens is that this is what you see. You can go around and choose around a printer as you want, but I'm just going to go around and use save as PDF uh, to show you how this actually looks. So over here, you can see that I got the form right here and this form has two questions as you can see right here. You can go around and select only odd pages and even pages over here as you like as well. So if you have more questions right here, let's say for example, I'm just going to go around and say, do you like uh, this subject right here? And I'm just going to go around, add all the options and then go around over here onto a print form right here. Then you'll be able to see that I got this question in another page right here. So now you can see that I have all pages. I can just go around for only odd pages or only even pages right here as well. Or you can go around and uh, choose custom pages to print only one page or one to two pages right here or more pages. Like if you have five pages, you can say one to five pages as well. But in my case, I got only two pages. So I'm going to select one to two right here. So you can also go around and choose whether you want to print a uh, the form in a portrait mode or in a landscape mode right here, as you can see. So it changes out the orientation right here. Once you do that, you can go around onto more settings and you can choose the paper size that you want to print in as well. So let's say I select uh, A4 and you can also choose the number of pages per sheet that you want to print right here. So if you were to select two, then it uh, sinks down the uh, page right here and fits two pages in one right here, just like this. But I'm just going to go around and choose one right here. And with six, you can see that same thing happens. You can go around onto margin and go for no margin right here or minimum margin right here, or you can go for custom margin as well, just like this. So you can go around and add in the value, let's say for example, 10% uh, uh, right here. So you can just go around right here. This is 10 inches. So I'm going to go around say one inch right here and uh, let's say one inch right here. And then I'm going to say one inch right over here as well and one inch around over here. So this is what you have, as you can see, as you add in the uh, uh, edges right here. But I'm just going to go around over here onto custom and say minimum margin right here so that I can see more things. I can go around onto scale and you can see that right now the scale is 100%. So if I were to decrease this, then the size of the form content right here decreases as well. And you can increase and decrease this out according to how you want. You can see the header and footer as well. So right now you can see that it is taking up the full page right here. So I'm just going to go for default margin and you can see that there's the header and footer that shows up in the pages as well. But if I were to disable out the header and footer, then you can see that it simply gets hidden right here. If you want to save out ink, then you may want to disable the background graphics so that it only prints out the text right here. If you were to enable this, then everything will be printed. So you uh, you might end up using more ink than necessary as well. So if you if simple form is OK, you can simply select this. But I'm using a virtual printing method by saving a PDF file. So let me just go around, save the background graphics and click on save. In case you're using a printer, you'll see print option right here. So if I were to go around and click on save right here, you can see that I have the option to save this as a PDF. So once I save it out, um, it get, just gets saved out as a PDF file. And on my desktop, I saved it so you can see it right here. So if I were to go around and double click it out, you can see the form right here. And this, uh, well, uh, this is how it would be printed in case you have printed it out on a physical paper as well with two pages with a bit of margin, no header and footer and all the options over here. And that is how you can go around and print out forms inside of Microsoft Forms. Uh, so I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.